Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Home Assistant on Raspberry Pi 5 using the USB SSD. In our last video, I have already shown you how to install the Home Assistant operating system on the Raspberry Pi 5 with the SD card. Uh, some friend asked me, can you show us how to install the Home Assistant on, on Raspberry Pi using a SSD with the USB. Um, I think one of the reasons people prefer to uh, use the USB SSD because it's not uh, storage. For example, here I have a two terabyte uh, SSD. So I have a if I want to like save a lot of the, sen the data from the sensor. Uh, using the USB SSD is uh, one of the options. Hey, uh, in the Raspberry Pi 5, it has four USB port, um, two USB 2. So these two are USB 2, and uh, these two are USB 3. When I try to install the system, I found we can easily to get it works with the USB 2. But for USB 3, uh, maybe it depends on the SSD that you have. Sometimes it doesn't work. I also see some people um, ask the question why it doesn't work on the USB 3. And today's video, I'm going to show you how to make it work. How to, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you how to install the Home Assistant on both the USB 2 and the USB 3. Okay, let's have a look. One thing I would like to add is, even we are not going to install the Home Assistant on the SD card, but we need a SD card for this installation. We are going to use SD card to change the priority of the boot. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, I have inserted the SD card into the SD reader. Um, just make sure in the SD card you don't have any important data because when we copy the uh, bootloader images to the SD card, it will remove everything in that card. Okay, let's open the Raspberry Pi imager. I'm going to choose Raspberry Pi 5. And for the operating system, we go to the utility images and go to bootloader. And uh, we are going to select a USB boot because we are going to boot the system from the USB if it's uh, available. Otherwise, it's going to be boot the system from SD card. Let's choose a USB boot. For storage, I choose the SD card and click next. It's going to it's going to uh, copy the images to SD card. Let's click yes. It need me input the password. It's going to be take a few minutes. Okay, let me put this SD card back to the Raspberry Pi five. And uh, connect the HDMI. And put the power on. Okay, now if you can see your screen become blue, which means now the boot loader is working. So it will start to boot from the US from the USB. Um, and then if it, if there are no system found on the USB, it will boot from the SD card. Okay, let's go to the next step. We are going to install the home assistant through the USB. Now I'm going to copy the home assistant operate system images to the SSD. I have already downloaded the home assistant images from the GitHub. If you don't know how to download the Home Assistant uh, images, uh, you can check my last video. It's showing you how to download 
the home assistant images from the GitHub page. Okay, let's start. I'm going to flash the images from fire. Let's connect that one. I have already done that. So the newest version is 11.4. Let me choose this one and open it. Select target. I'm going to choose the SSD, which is a two terabits. Um, let me choose this one and the flash. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. It asked me to input the password. It's going to take a few minutes. And after this step done, I'm going to insert this SSD to Raspberry Pi on the USB 2 and see if it works. Okay, now I have flashed the Home Assistant images to the SSD. I'm going to boost the system from the USB 2.0, see if it works. I have plugged in the SSD to the USB 2 and I'm going to turn on the power, see if it works. Okay, looks like it start to run in the system. Okay, look at everything it works. Let's and let's test if the USB 3 works or not. Now I change the SSD to the USB 3. I'm going to plug in the power again, see if it works. It's like the system is starting. Okay. Now you can see on the screen, I got some error and uh, the system cannot start. It's just stop at, at uh, some point. I, plug, I put the SSD on the USB 3, it doesn't work. It just stuck at here. I got some uh, errors. Um, how to solve this problem? I'm going to plug the uh, SSD back to USB 2.0. I'll do some settings with the Home Assistant and to fix that problem. Let's uh, turn off the Raspberry Pi and plug the SSD into the USB 2 again. I have uh, plugged the SSD back to the USB 2.0 and restart the system. Now I'm going to uh, do some setting to the Home Assistant to make it work for the USB 3.0. Let's do it. I'm going to input log A. I'm going to get the USB uh, device ID. Use the LSUSB minus T. For the device that I have, the device ID is the last one, is 0BDA3210. Uh, you can check this I, this device ID uh, at some other place. For example, if you ins install a Raspberry Pi operating system, you can use the same command. It will tell you the device ID for the SSD card. I'm going to do some setting. So I'm going to do VI and MT. B -O, -O, -T -B -O, o t slash uh, c m d 9 So I'm going to add a USB storage USB storage dot q u i r t s equal to 0 B D A ready to 10 and you I'm going to save it 
Okay. Okay, now let's exit. I'm going to restart the system and uh, uh, put the SID back to USB 3. See what happens. Okay, now we have the home assistant restart uh, using the SSD and the USB 3. Um, after we do the setting, it works. I do find sometimes when I remove the SSD from USB 2 to USB 3, uh, the screen doesn't show anything. Uh, I have to plug in the SD card with the boot loader again. And doing that, uh, everything works fine. Great. Uh, please let me know if you have any other question about install the home assistant using the USB 2 or USB 3. Thank you for watching this video.